Okay. I'm going to play some Assassin's Creed Odyssey because I'm not really sure where to go in many other games. Um, I, I played the first 10 hours of this game, though, so I feel comfortable starting. You essentially start as a Spartan warrior in the Battle of Thermopylae um, as Leonidas's not Leonidas' son, alongside Leonidas. And later on, obviously, Leonidas, he actually kills his son. That actually happened, like, he throws his son off the cliff. Literally right near where my portfolio crashed. Like, the day, the day, the weekend before my portfolio crashed. You get to command... Uh, warships in the ocean. You could see Poseidon at the bottom of the ocean as a statue. You get to fight lions. And you get to see ancient Greece. Um, there's one guy who's a meme. Um, I forget what his name is. But if you go anywhere near him, he kills you. Instantly. Oh, Patrocles. Because uh, another streamer. Uh, whenever he's like, he's gaming, uh, like, and he's getting beat up, he's like, he's like Patrocles, and then he get he gets like, thro like he gets beat up, and I was actually playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I was like, like I got off the ship and I was like walking around. And I was like, I was like, where should I go? And then all of a sudden, Patrocles is just like running at me and he just beats his shit at me. I was like, oh fuck, that shit was mad fucking funny, dude. That was so fucking funny. Because, like, you don't expect that, you know? Alright. I had, like, another, another interview today. It's, like, literally December 21st. Alright, so I'm going to start a new game. I'll do a continue, and I'll show where I'm at in the game, and then I'll start a new game. Okay, so let's do a continue first real quickly. Get some triangle power. Look how beautiful this game is. It's so nice. You can fly around as an eagle. Um, and just view ancient Greece as an eagle, which is pretty crazy. I do need to learn the what? Uh, oh, I'm in the Colosseum. Check this out, right? I got my purple Spartan helmet. Um. Okay, so let's check out my inventory real quick. So I got the Makara, Common Sword, Craft Arrows, Banded Bow, Browse Bag, Dark Steel Mask, Mercenary Gloves, Mercenary Belt, Heavy Athenian Braceplate, Heavy Athenian Greaves, and my horse, Phobos. My abilities. I did uh, Charged Heavy Attack, Sparta Kick. Bull Rush, which is kind of cool. And Shield Breaker. I mean, this game is incredible, you know? It does... Oh, Predator Shots go with the arrow. And Sixth Sense. I'm not really sure what this is. Check out my map. So it looks like I've... Um, I've explored Argolis. Megaris. Focus, Kefalonia, and part of Echea. Okay. So, let me just start a new game. This is a beautiful game. It's actually on sale right now for like 12 bucks or something.
Okay, so I'm going to start a new game. Here we go. Let me check to see if I have subtitles enabled first. Um, refresh rate, 60 hertz, native. I mean, I do do 240 hertz. FPS limit value, no. Unlimited. Unlimited. Okay. There we go. S. Yes. Graphics quality, ultra high. Anti-aliasing. Let's just do high. Um. Yeah. Looks good. Aim assist partial, photo mode on. The photo mode is fun. I went in... Like alongside of all these sharks underwater. And I took a picture of the sharks. And they ate me. That shit was hilarious. Okay. So a new game. Yes. Sarah, I am I'm I'm like swimming underwater. The sharks look beautiful. Um I know in black uh in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, they actually have um Moby Dick in the game. He's like a, a random event. Alright, so there's King Leonidas of Sparta. I first saw him as a millionaire. Tell me, Dainikis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had honor to know. I would have liked to gone fishing with my son. But now, let us, meet our feet, shall we? let us meet our feet, shall we? Interesting note, I asked my cousin to go fishing two months before I played this game. Or a month before playing this game. Spartans, every breath you have taken have led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat and tear, all of it has... Let's where you stand right now. Right now. <sighs> the Persians come. All right, the Persians come to slave us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood. I say we drench the gods with their blood. What say you, Spartans? Says, what say you, Spartans? Oh, for our sons, for our sons, for our daughters. For Sparta. For Sparta. <laughs> That's terrible. Spot. Spot. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm cringe. Fuck. I don't want to yell in my mic. Alright, so now, like, the Persian army is attacking the Spartans. Um, supposedly they have, like, I don't know, billions of people, whereas Spartan is very few. Interestingly enough, I used to have a full hawk. Um, and, alright, so RB to light attack. I'm gonna write down these controls. LB and A for bull rush. Okay. Yeah, so on the left side of the screen, you can see bull rush. You just press LB and then you tap A to do that one. Or LB and B for Spartan kick. It's super intuitive. LB and X for uh, fire mode. This game starts off super hardcore, and it, it doesn't ever let up. It's super easy and intuitive to play. The graphics look amazing. Oh, I have to f defeat these people over here. It's like playing Lord of the Rings Shadow of War, except um, 
you know, in actually in actual HA Grease. Let me spar and kick this dude. Yeah, you could bull rush while using the other uh, the other ability. It's pretty cool. You get to fight lions in this game. I'm not sure what that does. Oh. It, like blinds them. The objectives are on the map and super easy to follow. One of the fights early on is pretty difficult. You fight a guy near a dock with like golden curly hair who's super tall. And it's actually a pretty difficult fight. Let me spar and kick this guy off the edge. Oh, close. There we go. Dead. So, I had like another interview today. The person like called me at like without like without notice, which is oh yeah, they called me without notice, and the job was like 110 to 130k, and they're they're asking me like what I thought about like Python. I was like Python is ransomware. I was like why are you calling me so early on? It's like literally Christmas, and you're, you're calling me to talk about Python. I don't have Python anywhere on my resume. Alright, so you click on the right stick to lock on. X to dodge. RT to break guard. Yeah. Broke his guard. That color change just made me forget how to break his shield. I think it's RT, right? Yeah. Those controls are kind of difficult. So, um, you press X to dodge. You press RB and... I don't know. Was it RB or RT? I think it was RT and X to break uh, shield. And you click in the right stick to lock on. I was sending pictures to all eight of my friends of me standing on a beach with all Spartans wearing uh, golden ab armor, like 20 of them, when I had 160k. Said, we are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path. Persian soldier says, by dawn, you'll be completely surrounded. Leonidas says, we are Spartans when we are not. Well, that word will mean nothing when Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of the... Oh, shit. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Later on that week, I actually sent them, well, two weeks prior, I sent them an image of me in, inside 
waving the torch at the dogs on the beach. And then two weeks after, I sent them an image of me in Plants vs. Zombies 2 near the Ferris wheel on the beach. Layla, this is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Are you sure we can trust this thing? Just start it, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Animus, powered by Epstero. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization. So, Assassin's Creed, I played uh, the majority of Assassin's Creed 1. Um, I never beat it. I'm gonna do normal. I played, uh, like, dozens of hours of Assassin's Creed 2 multiplayer, because they incorporated... I can't select anything here. Oh, guided mode. Let's do guided mode. And, yeah, I mean, essentially you could, like, you had to, like, it was, like, PvP, like, 4v4. And you could, like, hop off buildings, uh, assassinate people, throw people off buildings, run up behind them and stab them. Uh, I showed off in Eileen the Crow in Bloodborne. Um, the reason I knew to kill her to get the Blades of Mercy is because I played Assassin's Creed 2, and I kill every character in every game. Because I traditionally, um, I go with, like, the KOTOR 2 evil, so that's how I approach video games, including Fable. I was always evil in Fable. Uh. Okay, I'm going to be Alexios. So, um, essentially, like a set screed one, you start off in like a lab, in like a modern society or whatever, and they have like a sleeping, like a white sleeping thing, similar to what uh, that lady just got in. And they send you through time, back into, like, back through time, and... There's not really much going on. You like climb a tower and you have to like make a rock fall down a hill or something. I don't know. This is obviously what that game was working towards. They made so many Assassin's Creed games. I have every single Assassin's Creed game informer. Like I'm a huge fan of Ezio's hand blade attached under his wrist uh, that he stabs into the back of people. It's really cool. And, I mean, look at this statue. That's pretty fucking crazy, right? These graphics are insane. The story's fun. The fights are fun. And not too challenging, either. You have to, like, run around and pick up, like, uh, wine sticks or whatever from bushes to heal, I think. I'm not entirely sure. You could call your horse by pressing one of the buttons, and your horse just appears. Um, yeah. You could take boats, uh, from island to island, eventually. And you do missions for people. You get to speak with people, and... Yeah, it's basically, like, a much better game than, like, anything else. It's so well made. Hey, Said, hey, shitface, get down here. Cyclops got a message for you. Tell your boss, Tell your boss he can stick it. Oh, shit. Damn, dude, this dude just got punched in the face. That's crazy. The Psychop said, you like to act tough, so act tough. Okay. Okay, so you could lock on. Press LB plus RB to parry. Um, 
I don't know how to shield break. That cringe. Let me look it up. Playing too many games right now. I did good at the, the Pirates of the Caribbean controller learning. Yeah, I don't know how to shield break. It's like, like R, R, B, and R, B, and A. No, R, T, and R, T, and X, R, T, and B, R, T, and X. Okay, it's R, T, and X. Kind of cringe, right? All right, so you you shield break with R, T, X. It's like Nvidia. Shit happens every week. I can't keep doing this. Nah. Thanks for the warning. There's my hawk. I could fly around and look at the island with it. What happened to you? Bobby said, What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. Okay, so I'm fighting like the Cyclops. Of course. Help yourself. My guy doesn't have a family or anything. Oh, my hawk is named Icarus. Do you think Zeus would bless me with an eagle like he blessed you? Do you think Zeus would bless me with an eagle like he blessed you? Maybe you could ask him for me. I'll ask Zeus for you. I'll try to put in a good word for you. Finally. It's not too dialogue heavy. Uh, this game. Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. Uh, what does that weasel want? I feel out of my element playing it. He wants you to meet him at his new house. Because I know I'm just only gonna play it for like an hour. So it's on the road to Sami. And it's a super long game. I'll say, oh, so Marcus has a vineyard. I'll go find him. I guess I owe Marcos a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. Alright, I'm gonna kill him. Actually, I'll say, get out of here. Fun's I'll be over. noble. Tell Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak if he sends you here again. I'm gonna cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. My bird. I'll see Marcos. As soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up nice, I got the magnificent... Multiple items are added to your inventory. Magnificent Mycenaean helm. That's cool. I don't know why I'm getting so many cool things. Maybe because I connected my Ubisoft account. I can't equip it yet because I'm only level one. Um, that's cool. You can engrave it and stuff, though. That's pretty exciting. I don't know if I keep my swords from before. Mylanese sword. Looks kind of cool. Okay, you pay Drachme and resources to bring gear to your current level by visiting the blacksmith. Okay, so let me climb up here. Hold Y to loot. Okay, so I got the Mythstheos tunic. 
All right, so start to open. Let's equip my... My tunic, and I don't know what else I got. Oh, I got Ezio's Roman boots. That's cool. Ezio's Roman sash. Oh, I could be Ezio. That's cool. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm Ezio. Ezio Auditore. Nice. This game is super... Oh, my webcam froze. Fuck you. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, I forgot about, like, bright games and shit. Whatever. So I think you call your horse with, like, select or... Or up on the D-pad. I don't think I have my horse yet, so... Let me just run. It looks like I have to fight. Alright, so RT to swing, RT to swing, RTX... RTX to... Let me lock on him and then press RTX. No? Why is the RTX not working? I guess with certain swords you can't shield break. That's weird. RTX was working before. Maybe like this this sword you can't shield break with it. So let me switch back to my bandit sword after I swing. All right, so let me finish swinging, switch back to my bandit sword. Now the shield guy's dead. It's fine. The gameplay is very smooth. I just need to learn the controls properly. Okay, so I can press up to call Icarus. I'd have to like sit here and just like write down the controls. Even like the controls, like they don't do things properly. Like they give you the controls as you're playing the game. So even if like you wanted to consult something. Like you still, all right, there you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time. Okay. So it's like, unless you play one game at a time, like you're, you're pretty much screwed. This game's super pretty. I mean, and much easier to play than the Witcher with like easier control schemes. I don't know why uh, The Witcher 3 gets that much hype, necessarily. Like, I know you could cut people in half with your sword, which is amazing. Boss, I keep telling you, I cannot do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant. The grapes will die. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past. Together, we will revolutionize wand making. Believe me. Man, I don't like this dude in Ezio's gear. Alexios, thank the gods. Bobby told me, think you could tell me about grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. It says, I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. Okay. I don't want to read the dialogue anymore. I benefit a little bit from it, from practicing speaking. I'll say, you don't know how to make wine, because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. It's that simple, isn't it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcus always has a plan. Alright then. 
Do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sammy. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt. I'm just waiting for you and Sammy, my friend. Who's the merchant? Who's the merchant? Durris. You know Durris. He's very nice. Stop giving Durris money. Durris, how stupid can you get? Stop giving him money. Stop giving him money. He always pays me back. That he always pays me back. After I threaten him. Exactly. Everybody benefits. Durris gets money. I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna say I want my drachmai. You better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. After all, there's another matter I wanted to discuss with you after. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everyone benefits. I want the horse on the left. It's black. The Skyros. You have an eye for a sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. Okay. I'm ready to choose. Which one will it be? I think the horses can swim as well. Um, I'm choosing the one on the left. I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not oh, wow. Fool. Phoebe's been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main See I'm doing. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beats. The beach. Turn off my... Can she swim? Oh, the game's kind of loud. Yes. Oh, I sound good. Don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. In the direction of Itimena Reach the Vanna Cam to rescue Phoebe. Okay. There we go. Oh, you could have the horse auto go for you if you press A, which is nice. I know it's a really good feature. It definitely works very well. I've done it in the past. These graphics are insane. It's like the new Skyrim. Except Assassin's Creed. Like Elder Scrolls, they they skipped like an entire generation. I mean, you had Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I'm gonna get off my horse here. I, I think you press B to dismount. You hold B. Alright, so I beat this person up. Oh, I died. Okay. Below later save. Okay, so you can hide in bushes from enemies with B. Where am I at? Alright, so I'm at Marcos's vineyard. 
I don't know how to call my horse up on the D pad. Right on the D pad. No, right is my torch. Okay. Left on the D pad. Down on the D pad. Yeah, down on the D pad. Okay. Get on my horse. Surprised those dudes killed me so quickly. You know, it's like the beginning of the game, you're still learning the controls. Looks like the horse runs a little bit faster when you let it run on its own. I was actually really enjoying this game, and then my portfolio crashed, and I never played it again, because I was so disgusted. Um, and then I forgot the controls. There they are. I'll sneak up on you, my lackeys. just run this way. I'm going to save um, in case I die. So you press start and you go to, you press up on the D-pad to quick save. Yes. They have a save menu too, but I'll do a quick save right there. Let me go. Suck it, or I'll tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom Brahmi for the Cyclops. No one's going to buy me from you. They're all poor. Enemies will investigate if they spot you in a restricted area. Crouch speed to become less visible. Okay. Tall grass will keep me hidden. You could assassinate with Y. Let the rest of those get away. I have to like be a professional and like keep like a, a pen and paper close by while gaming if I want to like collect all the controls. Did take it seriously. Right, I'm gonna parry this dude. Watch this. LB and RB. I'm gonna parry this dude. LB and RB at the same time. There we go. RT is swinging. Amazing. I freed the prisoner. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time it wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth, so I'd stop biting. Bobby, just, Bobby, just be careful. Be careful. You're, alone now, since... You're alone now since I need to switch his clothing. Since my parents died. Okay. okay. I've got you. I'll just let them read. You've got me and Marcos. Take a read. We're your family, right? She's an orphan. It's a nice loading screen. You'll have to be stronger than that. Don't give in. Let him have it. Got you. <laughs> Again. Up. Yes, Father. 
You later uh, see Nicolas on the beach near all the... Like, you storm a beach and he's, like, speaking to all the Spartans on the beach after you spear, like, an entire army of people and, like, b make bonfires with their bodies. He, like, addresses, like, all the Spartans in their golden armor. I think he throws this kid off a cliff, too, as well. Not entirely sure. Sandra, <laughs> and what a feast she will be! No, not her. Take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here, lay her in bed. Yes, Pater. Alexis. Either that or maybe someone kills his son, so he kills their son. I'm not entirely sure. There's no way to know. Mass Chief Collection was way too good. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> You don't worry enough. We'll be alright if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Okay, so I'm going to switch out my armor, see what else I got. I want something that like matches the scenery. Yeah, the Northern Traveler is... I'll just do the normal stuff. Oh, nice. I got a, a Mycenaean steed, too. Got a broken bow. Oh, cool. I have a Dane axe. That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. All right, so I'm going to press down on the D-pad. Oh, I cannot call Phobos from restricted areas. Oh, this is the dude that's pretty difficult. Bounty hunters, like Talos, are hostile mercenaries. Bounties can usually be paid off, but the Cyclops won't accept payoffs. Yeah, dude, uh, he's very difficult to fight. So, open the mercenaries menu. Talos the Stonefist, that's a good fight. He actually looks exact. funnily enough, he actually looks exactly like, uh, one of my friends who I roomed with. Um, so I'm pretty sure I reached out to him around that time, too. They like to like put like reminders in video games. In the mercenary menu, review your position. The rewards for each tier as well as the stat, status, strengths, and weaknesses for all known mercenaries and bounty hunters. Since Talos is higher level, you should avoid him until you level up and become strong enough to fight him. Yeah, he's a very good fight. You definitely need like the arrow move in order to fight him. Like the the one. Yeah, so it immediately puts him as your quest, but you can't beat him yet. Um, so they set you up to lose. You have to do other, other stuff. So, let me check out, press start, go to my quests. With our LB. Like all. And I'm gonna do, um, deck collector. So, I'm gonna set this as my thing. Press A to track it. It looks like this is what is set as my thing. So I'm gonna press down on the D-pad to call my horse. Now that I'm not in a restricted area.
I don't know. Yeah, I was playing this in GTA 5 with the jet skis at the same time. And I was thinking like, oh, like, I don't know, beaches and stuff. I don't know, dude. Come on. It was an interesting time seeing all the beaches and not also being drawn to the beaches. Like having loved going to the beach. Very odd. I was getting like such good sun on my jogs and enjoying the areas. I was like, I don't, I don't really need a beach, right? All right, so let me talk to Duris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself if he wants his money. Huh? Uh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Says, you're right, double is too much. That's robbery. That's what I told Marcos. You know him. He's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to 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 a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. I say, I'll leave you alone now. Forget the drachmi. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that rusty one you've got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. Nice. <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm gonna go run. I don't wanna stream for too long. I didn't even take a picture. I have mad pictures in this game. Let me save. Press start. I'll play this for like three hours on like Christmas or some shit. I'm gonna go run. Press left for main menu. So you switch to desktop. 